Welcome everyone, Greg Ferris here and I haven't put out an informative video in quite some time so I semi apologize for that but I've been really busy with my website and just doing other things and stuff like that and to be honest with people the more information I put out the less information I can put out if that makes sense just because there's only so much stuff you can tell people and then afterwards just they need to do those things so I'm not going to make videos like uh, what's better, sweet potato or white potato, or just stupid stuff like that just to get views, you know. Um, but for this video, I wanted to talk about DUP, daily undulating periodization. Um, cause I've gotten a lot of questions about that lately, uh, my training and things like that. Since I've stopped 531, which was like seven months, and everyone kind of knows about 531 now, I have been doing DUP, which again stands for daily undulating periodization. So for probably about four, three or four months now, um, and again, it's, it's, I want to stress this, this is not like an actual program like 531 is, it's more of a concept. So that's where it really varies, where something I lay out here, someone else can lay out something entirely differently, and it can still be classified as DUP. So it's a concept, not a program. But I did want to talk about it, how I've been using it, how you can use it as a bodybuilder, powerlifter, and all those things. Uh, I apologize if you're a visual learner. I don't have my handy dandy whiteboard with me today. I probably should invest in another one of those. But so I'll just talk about some things and then I'll probably want to edit this, put some information up here so you guys can uh, actually understand the layout and things. But so the first thing I wanted to talk about was what is daily undulating periodization? Pretty much it's DUP, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a lot of people have also heard it known as like nonlinear periodization. So pretty much all it's um, the concept is that you're varying your repetitions or vice or um, your intensity, same kind of thing, throughout the week. So instead of you know the traditional form of periodization would be uh, maybe for a month you train for strength and then a month you train for power and a month you train for hypertrophy. So a three month block like that. Instead of instead of doing things like that, uh, DUP would actually have like a power day, a strength day, and a hypertrophy day. Like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's one way you can set it up, uh, and that's kind of the concept behind it, is that instead of every single day doing like a 5x5, five five, or every single day doing a 3x12, or whatever, you're varying your repetitions, and therefore you're varying your intensities throughout the week. Um, so the two different ways you can actually use it. Uh, the first way, which is probably more popular with people that I see online and things, um, is like a upper heavy day and then an upper light day or, or strength and hypertrophy or whatever you want to call it. Same kind of concept. So on Monday you would do like three sets of five and then like three sets of three and then you know maybe some of your arm work is like six to eight, you know, stuff like that. Same thing with your lower body workout. So you're squatting like for triples, you're deadlifting for like doubles or singles or something and then you take a day off and then later on in the week you do like more of the hypertrophy stuff so like dumbbell presses for like 8 to 12 that's the same kind of thing and that's the what I would say most people kind of do uh, I did that for a long time with like an upper lower split uh, I also did that with like 531 kind of where I had like strength weeks and hypertrophy weeks that's kind of the same thing as daily undulating periodization uh, it's pretty close so and then you also the other way to use it and this is the way that I've been using it is actually doing it by lift and not necessarily by body part or by upper lower. So as I, most of my workouts now are full body. I'll train like full body like five times a week uh, at the moment. So think of it as like a lift for bench press. So, so say like for bench press, Monday I could do uh, three sets of 10. Wednesday I could do four sets of six. Friday I could do five sets of three. That's a really quick example of how you can do that with a lift. Um, and it's still daily periodization. Every single day you're doing a different repetition range, therefore you're doing a different intensity. That's pretty much the same thing. And again, that's a three-day example. You could do as much as like a five, six-day example. You could just go 70%, 75, 80, 85, 90, and just repeat that each week. Um, again, there's infinite possibilities. This is a, more of a concept than an actual program. Um, but those are two different ways that I've, again, there's probably other ways, but the first one, like I said, just having like a strength and hypertrophy day uh, within the same week is a, is a way to do that. And also like the way that I actually do it per lift, like when I squat, I'll have different percentages and things like that each day um, is a different way to do it. So body parts or I guess upper or lower or actually by the lift are the two popular ways. 
Um, I also want to talk about planned progression while doing DUP um, as both a powerlifter and a bodybuilder and how I think it would differ. So again, this is where I really would like a whiteboard here, but say for instance, you start off, I have to call them like waves, like a DUP wave. Um, this again, only an example. Um, so say month, so we'll just take bench press for example. Monday, you do three sets of 10 at 75%. And then Wednesday, you do four sets of, of six at 80%. And then Friday, you do five sets of three at 85%. If you kept doing that, of course, each week you wouldn't progress. So it'd be awesome. You'd be like, okay, I'm, I'm hitting my numbers. But if you keep doing the same weights every week, if you keep doing 85% for triples, you're not getting any stronger. So what I'll actually do is plan in progression. So week one, I'll do that 75, 80, 85 percent. And then week two, we'll have a little range of how much I'll increase it by. So like for lower lifts, I'll typically go bench. Like So week two would be bench press 75 percent plus five to 10 pounds. And then the second day would be 80 percent plus five to 10 pounds. Friday would be 80, 85 percent plus five or 10 pounds. You see what I'm saying? And I would also do that again the following week. So it'd be like 75% plus 10 or 15 pounds now. So you're adding about five or 10 pounds each, each week. Obviously this can't happen forever, which is kind of how the plan progression works. And I have to call them waves. So if you're kind of increasing here, you're gonna peak and then you kind of have to come back down. But the plan is to, when you come up and then you come down, that your next up is higher than your second up, if that makes sense. Your, your second peak is higher than your first peak. Um, so how you would do that as a power lifter, I think is, would be nice, is three weeks. So again, take bench press, start with 75% on the first, first day of the first week. Like I said, do the DUP for the rest of it. The second week, add five to 10 pounds. The third week, add 10 to 15 pounds. That's typically where you're gonna see a cutoff. If you're still feeling great, um, then what you could do is just do a fourth week. But what I probably recommend for most people, and this is what I've been doing, that fourth week just have like a max out week. So again, instead of doing your percentages Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just max out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then you would have a new number to, to set your percentages off for a new kind of wave, if that makes sense. That's how I've been using it, and it's been really, really fun. So it's pretty much just like three weeks of really intense training. Um, well, it's one. The first week really isn't that bad, honestly. Then the second and the third week are pretty difficult, and then you then you kind of peak uh, the fourth week. Then you kind of reload is the best way to explain it. Um, and again, if you're a bodybuilder, you don't really have any reason to max out on lifts unless you just want to do it. I mean, that's I enjoy doing that too. I'm not really a power lifter. What you could do is the same kind of thing. But then on your fourth week, just switch the exercise. Um, again, I'm not a big fan of deloads, especially for bodybuilders, because you just don't really need it, honestly. Um, so again, maybe start off with barbell bench press and then do that, that percentage work. Or if you don't want to do percentage work, just start with your six to eight. Have like a six to eight day, a four to six day, and a two to four day. And then just, you can add weight the same way. Um, and, then that and then the fourth week, Maybe do it for four weeks or do it for three weeks and then just switch the exercise and do it again. So now switch to barbell incline and do that or then switch to overhead press and do it that way. Um, again, these are just examples. You'll, you could do this for all variations of all major lifts, I think, could be used this way. I don't think it really needs to be used for like arms and calves and, and stuff like that. Um, and also the last thing I want to talk about was plus sets. That's also something I use with this, which is something so, I really enjoy. So again... Uh, on your five sets of three, especially like that first week, if it's like at 80 or 85 percent, it probably won't be that hard. So instead of just having like a really mediocre workout, hit those first four sets of just triples. You can get quite a bit of volume in, and that fifth set kind of be like a plus set. If you ever done five three one, that's kind of where I got that concept from the plus set. Um, I've I've really enjoyed that as well. Again, the further you progress, if you just added 20 or 25 pounds onto your percentage for a squat you're probably not gonna be able to hit too much on your plus sets or if any. But that first week, it's something really to play with I think is, is pretty cool. Um, and where I kind of got all this from, again, pay some homage to um, my concepts and things like that. Definitely Renny Smolov Jr. gave me this idea. 
because if you look at the small off junior template, that's pretty much what it's it's DUP. It's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday benching, and I think it's uh, 70, 75%, 80, 85%. And then again, it forces that progression. Week two and week three, it forces that progression on you, and then you preferably would max out that fourth week. So I really just kind of apply the same principles of small lob junior, which is DUP, to my other two lists. Um, and then with my assistant's work, I do some other kind of stuff, but it's not really structured incredibly. Um, but then also big shout out, big shout out, big shout out to um, Matt Perryman, who whose book Squat Every Day has been really beneficial to my training lately. Also Ben Escrow, who has really opened my eyes to more frequent training, especially with the big three talking about doing them, you know, there was a, a span where I was squatting like five or six times a week, and I may go back to that. You know, right now it's just three times a week. Um, I know I say just, but uh, then also Mike Zordos, who a lot of people associate DUP with. He's done uh, extensive research. I believe it is PhD on DUP on powerlifters or bodybuilders or something. And he's also one of those guys that advocates really high frequency training. So again, I've had really really good success with this. Uh, I just hit a 255 bench. Which is you know nothing to nothing awesome. I understand that, but for me that's that's really damn good. Uh, I just hit a 315 squat for six sets of four the other day, um, which again just incredible. Like I could do that, uh, and again, it's not an easy program. This isn't a fluffy kind of program. If you're not going to come in with some I don't want to say some balls, but in, some intensity and, and all of those things. I also don't think it's right for beginners to do this because you need to be able to kind of have your form in your pocket. You don't want to be like trying to increase, you don't want to try to work on your form where you're also increasing your lifts and training them that frequently and things like that. Uh, don't get me wrong, I think beginners need to train frequently, but as far as planning and progression, probably not the wisest thing to do. So that's kind of the short wrap up on DUP guys. Again, just kind of wanted to briefly explain it. Again, this is like 15 minutes, but it was a, a brief explanation. Um, so if you guys have any questions on the way, how to set it up or things like that, again, you can always hire me as a coach because most of my clients are on a DUP system, especially if they're gaining strength or the, their goal is to gain strength or gain muscle. I'm a big fan of, of DUP um, in some sort of way. So you can always do that. I do have 14 clients at the moment, which blows my mind how successful I've been lately with getting clients and helping people out. And it's been just phenomenal. And also my website launches in like four or five days, uh, July 1st. So be on the lookout for that, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you like my information. Uh, go ahead and like it. Give it a thumbs up as well. Again, any questions or uh, comments are always welcome. And I hope you guys have a nice day. Take care.